Welcome to Boing My Bike. I'm your host, Chantel Herschel. We're going to watch Brandon Brown and Chase Dineen go head to head in a competition where they'll 3D scan in their mountain bikes, then design modifications and finally 3D print them to see who can do the best. Join us every Wednesday and then vote in our live competition to see who the winner will be. Let's check in on the scans. What is Hey Chase, I think you forgot something. That's what I was looking for. All right. Here, let's flip it over so it uh, stays kind of steady. Okay. I always feel like I've got the power when I have this thing. <laughs> I mean, you do. You want to learn how to scan? Yeah, I do. All right. So that, uh, that gray button just in the middle by your thumb. Yeah. Just hit that. Okay. And you should see that light on the back. You want to make that green and oh. just kind of move it around. Oh, it's not green anymore. What does yellow mean? Oh, there we go. Think too close. Okay. How am I doing? Pretty good. I think we can just get that other side and we should be just about good to go. Okay. What are we scanning this for? Uh, it's going to be my, uh, my surprise mod at the end. So it's a little ways out, but it should be something pretty interesting we can all see. This is why they have engineers and I'm not one. I but I'm pretty impressed with my ability to do this just learning. It is pretty uh, pretty much point and shoot. Pretty user friendly overall. So this is for your mystery mod. Yeah. Are you going to give me any clues? Um, well, it's going to cover up a lot of where those stickers are right now. I'll tell you that. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> OK. Thanks for letting me scan. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for uh, doing my job for me. Anytime. That's what I'm here for. The stickers <laughs> were extra fun. I bet. All right. Well, I'll be back soon to check in and see how everything's going with your different modifications. Good Sounds luck. Sounds good. Thank you. All right, so now that she's gone, I'm going to go redo that. Hey, Brandon, how's it going? You no, know, it's going pretty well. I got my uh, bottle scanned in here. Oh, cool. To help you design a bottle cage. Yeah, so typically you could take measurements off something like this, but I just really wanted to be able to verify that it would that it would all fit. Yeah. Um, it's it's actually pretty amazingly detailed. Like you can even see some of the logos that were printed onto the bottle, yeah. and even some of the uh, the emboss features on the bottom and the sides. It's pretty incredible. Maybe you should really print your own water bottle too. I don't know if uh, I don't know if that would be necessarily the safest thing in the world to do, but we could we could try that. Oh come on, what's a little risk from contamination for the sake of science? Might be able to get away with it on the form labs. Okay, well, um, are you feeling nervous about Chase with some competition? Nope. Oh wow, slowing down. I don't know, but I just did a great scan for him out there, so I'm pretty I'm pretty impressed with myself. Good enough. Yeah, so you should be scared because I helped him. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to go, and uh, um, I, I have some cupcakes. Oh, sounds great. Do you want some cupcakes? Absolutely. Let's eat! Yeah. Cupcakes! Cupcakes. Boing. Cool. So these are from Stacy's Cupcakes and Post Balls. Oh. Mm. It's definitely cream cheese I'm frosting. Good. I'm gonna be making a mess here, so. Wait, wait which, what's your uh, cake flavor? Red velvet, I think. I'm, yeah, I'm like 90% sure. Uh -huh. Oh, they have filling. Mm -hmm. Oh, that caught me off guard. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Pleasant surprise? Yeah, it's definitely uh, lemon flavored. Mine is orange flavored and it's it's divine. Mm. Oh yeah, it's not, a, it's not an overwhelming lemon. It's not like super sour or anything, it's good. No, this is really good. I love the cream cheese frosting on this. The texture on the cupcake is very spongy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And uh, the frosting has that perfect, like, just slightly crispness, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. where it's like... On the outside, yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. And so it just tingles when it hits your tongue. I will say probably about a third of mine ended up on the ground, just because of uh, <laughs> who I am as a person. I already inhaled mine, so... 10 out of 10? A 9 out of 10. Give it an 8. Chase is hard to impress on I cupcakes. Am, I, guess so. I did recently learn about Chase, though, that he's more of a savory person. Nah, uh, yes, I do. Uh, so I feel like an eight out of ten for him is really saying. Yeah, that's fair. I don't, I don't eat a lot of sweets. So. Yeah. 